All right, here in just a moment, we're going to check in with Todd Horowitz with Bubba Trading. But first, let's find out where these markets are headed here over in the least in the grains today. Corn headed higher ever since last night on the overnight trade. July up two and a quarter, the December up two pennies. Soybean market, well, not quite the same. We're down one in the July. We're down three, I'm sorry, make that two and a quarter now in the November at 9.30 and a half. We are down three cents in the January 20, uh, 2020 contract. On over to the wheat market. And we're kind of chopping around here. July, Chicago, wheat up one at 539. Kansas City wheat market for July. It's up one and a half at 467. The Minneapolis wheat market is up one at 544 and a half. And checking on cotton right now, we're 25 points higher on the July contract, 6255. Uh, also, winter wheat harvest is taking place. And I want to bring this up because uh, there's been some discussion about how far behind this crop is. Usually at this time, Texas would have 72% of its wheat harvested. This last week, 58%. And the big wheat state of Kansas, uh, this is probably the number that stands out the most. 5% is harvested. Last week was only 1%, but usually the five-year average, 36% is harvested this time of year. Uh, Todd Horowitz with Bubba Trading joins us now as promised. Todd, good to talk to you on this Tuesday, sir. Earlier, uh, I know that you send out text messages throughout the day to update uh, a lot of your followers on what the markets are doing. And you had some comments about this grain market earlier today. <laughs> good morning, John. Yeah, I think that... Uh... We're going to see some selling pressure today. I, I think that we've already seen it. You know, corn was up almost at uh, f up at five or six cents, and beans were up, wheat was up, and we've all started to turn a little bit south here. Again, I think this is really healthy for the market overall. I nobody nobody wants to see their their stuff go down, but I think for the bigger rally that we're expecting and the potential big market that I think we might get, I think a sell off is very healthy for the market. I think it attracts and brings in new money to these markets, and I think it will help push us much higher. When we get going, again, I would not be surprised to see a five handle in front of corn, a six in front of wheat, and a 10 or 11 in front of soybeans. So, again, this sell-off to me is a very healthy look, and I'd like to see it follow through a little to the downside. What kind of outlook do you have for the crude oil market? Because that's a market that had the big run-up when all, it was the, all of that tension in the Middle East. And uh, so now where do we go from here? Well, it looks like for right now it goes higher. I mean, obviously, I still think there's a very good chance that we see crude get down into the you know 50 or under 50 for a while. But for now, you know, things have changed. You know, markets change all the time, and, and trends and, and technicals have changed in that market. And we've now pushed after that big 14% rally last week. We've turned around a little bit, so we'll see. Again. I'm not a big fan. I think there's a bigger chance that they sell off from here. But certainly, I wouldn't be trying to short this market right now until it shows me that it's ready to turn around and go the other way. There is some uncertainty. There is some fear. And we are in a little bit of backwardation, which is never a bullish formation. But you've got to wait until that kind of resolves itself before we resume selling that product again. One last question. This dollar just kind of uh, chopping around here sideways today, <laughs> too, really, without a whole lot of direction. Well, you know what? As you know, I was a big pr proponent. I thought the dollar was going to go to par. And of course, again, markets change. And with all the central bank and Fed interference in trying to manipulate these dollars lower because they're trying to keep up with China and the renminbi, they're trying to keep up with the euro currency and what they're doing. So they've masterfully manipulated the dollar lower. And it looks like the dollar is going to come down a lot now. It, it doesn't look like we're going to get to par as fast as I thought we have broken now. Once we broke that 96.50 level on the downside, it looks like lower prices are coming. And I think that with the interest rate market falling and everything else falling, it's going to keep a lot of pressure on the dollar. And right now, I mean, obviously, it's great for exports in a, in a weird kind of sense. But at the end of the day, I think that it's not very good. And I think it will eventually recover. But right now, it looks like it's headed lower. Todd, job well done. We always appreciate visiting with you. Todd Horowitz, Bubba Trading from his Thanks, office. John. They're just, uh, just outside of Chicago. We've got more coming up in a moment. Stay with us. It's just around the corner here on the Market Report.